Hi, this is Svetlost from Club Odyssey. What toy edition of scams? Now, I'm going to start with Art from Time magazine. I'm going to do our usual look at some emails that I received and look at some text messages. So, this was great read. Definitely the links this that's called what you just can't now, now the guy let me give credit Lana Simmons well written on our British I can what the date in September 824 says so recent art so it opens on, on an account of a person who found themselves to cash into a Bitcoin machine because they had received a call from someone who comes to I'm not sure if it's FBI when I read the person I didn't find some officer and um I told him that I mean even got something from the local bees. So there's a lot going on here. It seems like you know you have you know scammer the police camp along with you know they're spoofing numbers because the number came from the local police who told the FBI would be in town then she got from number down wrong so interesting and I call it that person in an accident because I had a friend that have to who you know got a call her brother was in an accident they told her it's sense thing and she went and got and got gift cards. Now it turned out the brother was okay. But you know they had her on the phone. So I'm not sure how it's played up but you know you could understand that you know the phone number came from the same area code as her dad and who knows. And what's interesting about this article is a lot of times people think well who would fall for that blah blah. He says it's one ten and especially you know they had people who had the voice sounding like the sister's voice where they're using deep fakes you know i'm not going to blame ai because we all know as technological advances continue good people take advantage of it bad people take advantage of it some of the interesting aspects of this article is expect because here talking about the sophisticated of the scams where they're doing and I'm not trying to well I kind of disagree with this article they know who a lot of the scammers use techniques that will affect any other people I disagree with them when they talk about the COVID-19 pandemic is one, one reason it made people lonelier more isolated I'm not sure about that I just think that scammers as technology gets more sophisticated they get more sophisticated I mean, the loans part, maybe for, they had Roman scams, Romans scams from before. before. I've heard of plenty of fish scam and not scam, not the scams. They're just people who are just out to scam other people. Because they mention Roman scams. They mention investment scams and fake job scams. And sometimes people get scammed by people they know too. So, I mean, that's right above that part. You know, could want to read, but the reason they is psychological warfare. I say because a lot of times the camps use things like urgency, scarcity, act now. You know, sensitivity where they're like, well, you know, this is sensitive information, and so you're not telling anybody else. You're keep, keeping it yourself and trying to work out, and you know, they're taking advantage of this situation. Sometimes things happen to people where. You know they're already in a heightened emotional state and they take advantage of that the article does mention that too so i think that's more applicable versus just saying oh well it was because of COVID. especially if you're introverted probably didn't mind not having to face so many they call it an imposter scam but i you know let's put it this way a lot of them always prefer to be from some brand that you recognize and of course the whole idea of being like the customs officer or the fbi or the police you know is that authority figure 
and you know how you're gonna act you know you don't want to get in trouble so you're more likely to comply so another interesting thing about this article is that also looks at you know i call them vigilantes in the space of you know scammers i've seen two on youtube for the regular person or i mean these people some of them have advanced cyber security degree not degrees but abilities because you can have a degree all you want i have one but i still wouldn't do this because i'm not going to try and hack into somebody else's computer to see how they're scamming people and letting the people know some people will do that I, you know where is that law enforcement doesn't have the sale deal people you know taking their stuff good for them i would not recommend most people do it but it's on where they are that some of the area codes uh the usps i would not mention above and you know some of them are out of the country but the ones i've been getting recently and i'll share it with you later are right here in this country so i would hate for them to turn up at my door <laughs> There's, they mentioned the fake online job ads. You know, that, yes, they call them boiler rooms where people have to, you know, lower America. And they talk about guys that are artificial intelligence, but again, as technology advances, scammers also find ways to use it. So it's not just for the good. The AI help them write my content in this, as they call message, as I like to say. Here they use AI to voice that resembles her sister. That's kind of scary. I mean, I definitely am not going to go through the whole article, even though I think I went through a lot. I think you should look at this article. There are other articles by, you know, I've shared before the FTC and other sites that let you know about scams, what the scams, because the more you know what kind of techniques they're using, the more you can prepare yourself, hopefully. So let's still look. Let me see what I'm going to start with. Honestly, I did some screenshots of my. my oh, I thought I were here. So. so. I like to start with the job ones because they're interesting, right? And this one had a 331 area code so right here in Chicago. I know first we know the number could be spoofed. It could be right here with me in Florida. You know, the things that I ask about these questions, the things I ask about these questions, the things that make me question some of these things is when they use WhatsApp. Why can't get your Beautiful, but then I read WhatsApp. So maybe they're not calling or texting from that phone number. Maybe it's just okay. Because here I got to go to this WhatsApp message thing. Click applicant must be 22 years old. What job? And you can earn anywhere from 280, 10 to 20 minutes a day. Wow, 10 to 20 minutes a day. I mean, I. I, I'm good at math, but even that the 280, 10 minutes, okay, give it maximum, 20 minutes, 280, so in an hour, be 60 minutes, uh, 28 times 3, 24, uh, so you're telling me you're making $840 an hour in a day, yeah, and that's the thing, the believability. The Leave it there. Hi, I'm Emily, a recruiter looking for long-term partners to join our team. No fees involved. The work is simple, flexible, and can be done from anywhere. All you need is a smartphone. And you can complete tasks in just 20, 10 to 20 minutes a day, earning between $200 and $1,800 with instant payment completion. If you're interested, feel free to WhatsApp. Reach out via WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that's a no. If it sounds too good to be true. It probably is. I'm not gonna waste time looking up the number. I know I've shown you. Oh, you can always reverse up the number, but a lot of times those are not real. 
kind of says it's anything about USPS the package is temporary and hell in nowhere. Look on the area code 606. That's actually right here in the US. Now before I used to get them from 63. And I knew instantly like, oh come on, United States Postal Service. Why would I be getting it from a way to liberate Britain? I've gotten far area code. I expect it to be my area code. But you know, where I'm missing things. But uh, that gets me that I'm going to verify my address at USPS. I mean, it's one of those bit layers, but still, it should say USPS.com. Um, some things. So, don't know what other address important address. May your be bright and full of wonderful moments. USPS team. So, I know why I have that in the block messages. Now, this one is 966. Which? And see, it looks, it was a funny number. 9653. I looked it up. Saudi Arabia. I don't know why I thought they were a rich country. You didn't have, you know, uh, camp call centers, but. So, United States Post Service delivery. I don't know say. We've received a package, but deliveries on hold going on Cleveland Dress. In Cleveland Dress, to ensure time delivery, please click the link below to. Again, is, is it the same from before? Ah, uh, who cares? Hurry! Now, here's the additional one. Hurry if you don't update your address within 12 hours. Your package will be sent back. Now, that sounds like they really want you. They're putting that sense of urgency, which is the techniques they use. They use a psychological technique. That's the urgency. They try to prey on your... You need for money, you know? Oh, you the del delivery failed because your package is missing address information. The shipment has been returned to the warehouse. We will please fill in whatever. Please fill in the deliver. So whatever five zero one area code. Now I never understand why this is pronounced Arkansas when if you take off the AR, it's pronounced Kansas. But hey, that's just me. Really understand. But, and we're back to Emily. Now let's look at some. So we look. Um, let's look at some emails. I did shot a couple of those. Okay, so what I did because I, I try and read my spot. The one that I was saying, looking at this, that is. That's definitely a spam because some of these are like just again spam, not scams. The one that I think is a scam is the one that says compensation approved. All those extra characters that before and after, and they want you to prove for significant compensation. We go um, appeal to my greed. Uh, here I open it just so you could see, but look where it's from. That's not a I mean, you can always look up domains. That's not legitimate. And of course, show image. The reason why I don't click to show images and I don't have a screenshot on it because I won't click to show images. Sometimes images are embedded with code that can be downloaded computer secretly. So I'm not clicking on anything in email. And I would advise you not to either. Here's another one where um, pretty Pretty similar deal where if you want to see the images, you gotta click here. And these are from my Yahoo Mail. Yeah. The, whenever I wear, I can't read the the thing, even though it has renewal, which is I believe understood is some kind of company here. I don't even bother open those because that's just crazy. Again, some more where they're using a bunch of. I call it emojis and I, I want to 
want to travel except that means a big red flag not to open this one, one you have new friend requests okay but i never signed up for tinder so why would i have a new friend request even though it looks very normal but if you know you haven't worked with the vendor before this one i know is real i've worked with them they were also like a sponsor for some conference i went this, this is real i don't know anything about this this election season so of course you know they've been out there spamming people not scamming spamming people they like like you know about the election go out and vote you're just so okay this one is this is a newsletter but it's just that some things that end up in a spam folder you got to train the ai to bring it back but you know my inbox is pretty full and i don't really care if they discontinue iphone 15. I actually work with Android. PayPal, you can tell this is not the real PayPal. Thank you for your timely payments. This is like, uh, I can't remember, but I do remember them in one of the conferences. Of course, this one because of cakes and all that stuff. I don't have anything to do with Sirius. I don't even know. It's a satellite rate. I do know that, so I shouldn't say I don't know. So, pink and mine, all they want. And the rest of it just seems like you know, just business advertising. So anyhow, it's pretty much it. I mean, I didn't do her technique, but remember and emails. Well, it comes mostly. You can hover over and see if you open up. Always look where the thing is from. You can do both email and file. If you're looking at emails on mobile. Uh, and click on links if you're not sure about where it's from and always check where it's from and if it doesn't correspond to what you know the domain don't click on the links and that's my tip for today i will share the link for that article that time article the age of scams and i guess you'll see me here next time